All right, so we got a mass conservation problem. This one reads water at 0 0.1 meters cubed per second and alcohol with a specific gravity of 0 0.8. And that one's flowing at 0 0.3 meters cubed per second are mixed in a Y duct. So now we're looking for the average density of the mix between alcohol and the water. So let's get started. All right, so first thing, like always, right, we get the knowns. Now we're dealing with water and alcohol, and then they mix, right? So we need the density of water. That is a thousand, right? It's in meters. Yep. So it's a thousand kilograms per meter cubed. And the density of alcohol, you should know this by now, you got to just multiply the density of water times specific gravity. So the density of alcohol is 800 kilograms per meter cubed. All right, so we also know the flow rates, right? These two points, um, because of continuity, um, and just FYI, I'll let you know right now. So this whole class, um, you'll be dealing with incompressible fluids. So what that means is its volume is always constant. And we know density is equal to mass over volume. So if volume's constant and we're not adding or removing any mass, that means density, it's, uh, it's constant too. So just like that, we could get, let's go ahead and label these points. We'll label this point one, point two, point three. So Q3 is equal to just the addition of these two. What goes in must come out at an equal rate. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3, that is 0 0.4 meters cubed per second. All right, cool. So we know mass is also conserved. That's kind of the whole point of this, uh, this topic here, mass conservation. So we go ahead, second step, right? mass conservation so to get flow rate you know it's um it's all right right here flow rate is equal to area times velocity to get a mass flow rate is a cube dot to get a mass flow rate you just multiply it by the density rho av that's pretty much it. So um, we could go ahead and do a uh, mass conservation on this one. So we know what comes in, in terms of mass, right? They both come in, these two, is equal to whatever comes out. So we end up with that equation right there. We could go ahead and start plugging in. We could do rho AV, but since they already give us the flow rates, we're just gonna do rho Q. So, Row one Q one plus row two Q two is equal to row three Q three, right? So cool. We go ahead and just plug and chug. We got density for water, which is point one. We got density for alcohol, which is point two. And we're looking for this density, so this is the unknown. We got Q1, Q2, Q3. So we just go ahead and plug in. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, 1,000 times 0 0.1 plus 800 times 0 0.3 is equal to row three times 0 0.4. Uh, do the math here, you get 100 plus 240 is equal to row three, 0 0.4. Um, then what else? You get 340 is equal to row three times 0 0.4. Finally, you get row three is equal to 850 kilograms per meter 
cubed. So this one's pretty straightforward. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, there's two principles, right? You gotta know. So it's incompressible fluid. So that means flow rates, whatever goes in equals whatever comes out. And mass conservation, since we're not removing any mass or adding any, that's also conserved. So fortunately, this one was pretty cool. Um, that one's straightforward. 850 is the answer. Um, I don't think there's anything else that you'll need. But again, just remember, if it's incompressible, that means volume's constant. And if you're not adding any mass or removing, that means density is also constant. So that's the answer.